All right, wish me luck. I have no clue how this is going to go. This thing, like, there we go. I'm about to say, this thing's gonna, like, start eventually, isn't it? <laughs> okay, cool. Well, it seems to be working, so that's awesome. Wow, look at all these. You guys see the <laughs> poopy shit fucking. <laughs> you guys finally get to see this stuff. <clears throat> I wonder who just, like, joined the live stream during the like super shitty resolution phase of the uh start of the game here just join in see it's at like fucking 480 by 650 or whatever the fuck the resolution is 480 by 600 they're like what is this shit all right oh, just gotta <laughs> all right what <laughs> all right what up guys plock the master gamer here we're back at it with some fable god damn it hold on i already messed up the intro i already messed up the intro hold up hold up you guys are making me nervous. Maybe this is a bad idea. I would have guys are back at it with some Fable No Exploit. My volume is still really fucking loud, so I'm going to do that like a third time, I guess, now. I would have guys... <clears throat> Jesus fucking Christ, guys. Come on. You're doing it live! Alright, I got this. I got this. I would have guys are back at it with some Fable No Exploit. In the last video, I honestly don't even remember what we were doing. Uh, oh, yeah, okay, so we did, like, oh, we did the Lady Grey stuff, that's right, that's what we did. And now we're doing, uh, Rescue the Archaeologist. Oh, I'm supposed to do quest posts, I keep fucking that up, let's do quest posts. Now, this one might actually get a little spaghetti. Oh, it shouldn't be that bad, actually, that's right, it's only really hard if you're doing it with a stick. But, uh, we do actually get to meet the, uh, Jax minions, finally. Good God. I'm definitely not doing either of those two. I guess we're just doing no protection, because I'm not doing any of that shit. Fuck that. 2,000 gold for not wearing any clothes. That's fucking stupid. Like, I love how, like, the, the quest boasts, they give you even more money every time you do them, and they, like, don't really fucking change in difficulty at all. It's, like, still the same story, like, oh, yeah, you know, the... The thing where you take your clothes off, like, yeah, how about you get twice as much money this time for doing that? Like, you guys aren't getting bored of that yet? Like, you guys just keep handing me more money for doing the quest naked. Like, you'd, you'd think that would get old after a while, and they'd be like, you know what? Maybe we shouldn't give this guy any money for taking his clothes off anymore. This doesn't really seem like it's that big of a deal. This quest is actually, like, pretty quick and easy, I'm pretty sure. It's literally, like, it's one of those quests that's, like, super duper fucking easy, but, like, if you try to, like, do some weird cheesy shit, like, stick only, or, like, worst spells in the game, or whatever, it does get kind of challenging, but, no, it's pretty easy. How much money do I get for the 7,000? Eh, that's how you... Let's see, what do we want to do here? Okay, I'm already facing his back. How handy. Shit, no, not you. Not you. God damn it. Dude, what? Can you stop turning around, like, literally instantly? What the fuck? What is this shit? That was some bullshit. Oh, I'm, like, on the wrong spot of the keyboard there. Does this guy do it, too? Kinda? Dude, these guys got, like, the fucking turnaround time. It's ridiculous. Did we block this thing yet? Can I just fuck this shit? I always forget you don't need to, like, fight this first group of dudes. <clears throat> this one, though, you have to actually fight. But I think you only need to, like... You really, really only need to kill the dude that's blocking the 
path or whatever. Yeah, it's definitely this guy. Whoop! See, what is this shit, dude? They just turn around instantly, bro. Oh my god, oh my god. Can we, uh... Hold, hold. When in doubt, slow time out. These guys always, oh, turn around super quick like that. See, I never actually, like, this is like the first time I've actually tried to use fucking, uh, Assassin Rush, so. I've never actually experienced that before. It's pretty fucked up. How are we gonna defeat that? We're gonna just straight up fucking not defeat it at all. That's how we're gonna defeat that. I don't even, is this one blocked? I think this one is straight up, you can just walk right through. Just walk right in, sit right down. <clears throat> Hurry, they've almost reached the boat. You're running out of time. You're running out of time. Shouldn't be that bad. <clears throat> now the trick here is you don't want to fight any of them here because they'll all follow you to the bottom. So what you wanna do is, oh fuck this guy, I hate this guy. This guy always fucking makes everything suck. You fuck everything up, bro. You really do. Yeah, you just have them all follow you down to the bottom. Cause they'll, 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 regardless of whether or not they're actually following you, they will follow you all the way down here. And I think you actually only need to kill these two anyway, so. Or so I've always thought. I think maybe in the lost chapters you only have to kill these two. In Anniversary, I swear to god, you have to kill like every single one of them and it's annoying. Can I just get this whole, like, assassin rush thing to work, though? That'd be sick. It's just, like, straight up not fucking working. Well, maybe, uh... Maybe you do have to kill everything. Where's my... Let's get these guys out. Oh my god. Jesus Christ. Let me, uh... Be a little spaghetti here. Oh, you know what? I got the... I got just the thing. Which, uh, which button were we using for that? Oh, wait. There it is. Perfect. What are you going to do about it? <clears throat> it's actually probably the worst fucking way to do this. I don't know how long this is actually going to take. Oh, shit. The fireballs. You can't block those. That's, uh, that's not very helpful, is it? Alright, we got we to gotta get serious here. We're kind of fucking up a little bit. <laughs> what am I doing here? Fucking assassin rush is just completely fucking useless against these guys. I want to see if, like, I could literally just kill the magic dudes. And what the deal is with that. Come on. <clears throat> oh my god. That looks like I gotta kill all of them. Let's see what's up with that shit. Oh my god. Dude, fuck these guys, bro. You're getting this. How about that? Thrash him. Yeah, this one sucked a lot of dick with just this stick. I'm pretty sure it took me two tries. Or three tries, maybe even. I'm pretty sure it took me one, more than one try, though, if I remember correctly. This was this was horrendous with the stick build. It's not even that it's hard. It's just like it, it takes physically too much fucking time. Like, there's just like nothing you can do about how long it fucking takes. Like, killing them, it's, like, tedious, but it's, like, not difficult. But, like, the whole five minutes really does just fucking fuck it all up. What is this, like, a silver augmentation or something? Alright. I should probably put my clothes back on, even though it's... I should probably check the guild to make sure they don't want me to, like, do something that's going to make me take my clothes off before I, uh, put them back on. That'd be a better idea. And when was the last time I collected rent? I don't think I've done that in a second. Ooh, we actually have some side quests. Wow. Wait a minute, which one do we want to do? Which one's harder? I always forget. Ambushing the guards. Rescue. 
Shit. I think it's been a long time since I've done the rescue. We might as well do that. Oh, shit. Yep, see, we gotta do the quest and boast. It's a good thing I didn't put my clothes back on. <clears throat> no protection. That's obvious. Protect bandits. Oof. What does that one want me to do? Not let anybody die? Ensure no bandits are killed. I don't know, man. I just, I don't, I don't want to be responsible for people's lives, because, like, you never fucking know. <laughs> Fuck that. I'm good. How does this one work? I've done the fucking... I've done the execution tree like the normal one too many times now. I don't even remember this one, honestly. I literally do not even remember the last time I did the execution tree rescue. I think the only thing I'm... Oh, it's timed. Oh. Okay. I think the only thing I remember about this one is that it's more difficult than the other one. We have to, I don't, I feel like we don't have to fight these guys. I feel like these guys are just kind of slowing us down, aren't they? Yeah, see, it's a good thing I didn't do that one, because he's fucking dead. That took all of fucking 15 seconds for me to fail that, that boast I didn't accept. So, looks like I was right. Oh, I just remembered something. I bought like 30 fucking crunchy chicks like four episodes ago, because I was considering getting the Wellow's pick hammer. But, like, I didn't actually need it. I was just kind of, like, going to try to sell it. And then I realized I'm not actually going to be able to sell it anywhere. Oops. At least I have 30 crunchy chicks. Goddamn, are literally all of my buddies dead? Or did I just abandon them in the last area? That's sad. Oh, my God, dude. These guys are, like, the firing squad. That was crazy. Got hit with, like, five fucking bows at once. Jesus Christ, guys. Can we calm down? I'm still the hero. So what do we do? We just kill everybody? Is that how that works? Uh -oh. Why is there even a timer? Why are they like, oh, we can't hang this guy? Or I guess they don't hang him. They cut his fucking head off. They're like, oh, there's no way we could possibly cut this guy's fucking head off for another, like, two and a half minutes. That's literally all you gotta do, huh? I feel like this one's actually a lot fucking easier than the other one, and somehow I just never even knew it. This one's actually, like, a thousand fucking times easier than the other one. The other one, you actually have to, like, fucking babysit this piece of shit, because he'll start tiptoeing away, like, the second you stop looking in his fucking direction. This one, you just kind of, like, run over here and kill the fucking guy that's about to execute him, and it's honestly pretty fucking easy. I think I could have done the Protect the Bandit one if I just, like activated my slow time and ran through i probably could have straight up fucking protected them oh well well actually no i don't know because i did just lose this last bandit here too so tough call well shit that was easy i'm gonna i'm gonna go get that willow's pick hammer just because like i might as fucking well uh, let's see which one do i want damn it really is like there's no fucking good way to get here. I hate this shit. Oh, wait, I have a lookout point? How? Ooh, nice. <clears throat> I'm doing decent today. Just, like, <coughs> lost a little bit of sleep. The fucking little kid found a way to escape her fucking room and uh, started bothering us. Lost a couple hours of sleep there. But uh, it's whatever. Kid is too damn rambunctious. 
We literally have to, like, fucking lock our kid in her room because she, like, won't fucking stay in there. Like, we put a- we put a baby gate in front of her door to straight up lock her in. <laughs> oh, she also found out how to turn her light on, too, so I have to, like, literally unscrew her fucking light bulb every night. Or she'll fucking turn it on and she'll just, like... She's like, she can turn it on, but, like, I guess, like, the switch is just barely too high to turn off. So she'll straight up, like, turn it on in the middle of the night and won't be able to turn it back off because she can't fucking, like, reach it to do that. It's like, Jesus fucking Christ, kid, just stop. Stop doing dumb shit and dumb shit will stop happening. I don't understand. Stupidest, most pointless fucking thing I've ever done. But we're still gonna do it. Hello, arrow. Hello, arrow. I don't know if that last one was a typo, but hello. Or maybe that's like a, maybe that's what like a Asian would say if he was also British. Be like, arrow, arrow, how are you doing? God damn it, that's so racist. I'm sorry. <laughs> Produce, that's where we go. There we go. That's what I'm looking for. That's the one. That was wicked. Come on, tell me I'm wicked. I swear to God, he didn't even see that shit. Okay, cool. <laughs> that was wicked. <laughs> B rips on shit. Fuck it. I'll do one for you guys. I'll do a B rip. And I'm gonna get the Willow's Pick Hammer, even though, like, I don't even fucking need it, and, like, the only reason why I originally wanted it is so I could sell it, and I literally can't do that either, because I think the only place you can sell these two is, like, not only in Snowspire, so it's pretty far away, but it's quite literally a donation place, so you don't even get fucking money for it. Alright, here it goes. There you go. Alright. This is actually, like, probably my favorite demon door, just, like, as far as, like, the actual place is concerned. I don't know why I like this place, but I kind of do. Shitty fucking price, though. Because, like, the pick hammer is, like, not only, like, already the fucking worst weapon in the game, but it's, like, a fucking so uselessly weak fucking legendary weapon. Like, I think this is, like, almost weaker than every master weapon. And what is the fucking damage on this dumb thing? I'm pretty sure it does, like, something stupid, like, one fucking 40 or something like that. Which is, like, practically a fucking obsidian greatsword. Like, what? 120! That's even worse! Holy shit, bro. Like, why does this thing fucking exist? Like, the fucking obsidian great hammer is 135! What the fuck does this exist for? Why? Why is it here? Now, this also makes me wonder about the whole, like, piercing augmentation thing, too, because, like... So, the thing about piercing augmentation, they're supposed to be, like, quote-unquote good against armor, which isn't, like, necessarily true. It's just there's certain monsters that have a weakness to piercing augmentations. But if you look at the description for the Master Pick Hammer, it mentions something about being good at piercing armor. So, I wonder if the, like, the Pick Hammer class of weapon has the same, like, like uh, weakness effect as, like, a piercing augmentation. Because, like, they don't really, like, specify any of that in any of, like, the guides or wikis or anything. But, like, if you look at some of the, like, weapon descriptions, it seems to, like, almost suggest that they might be, like, better for certain things. But even still, like, I have a hard time believing that, like, even if it did have some sort of strength against 
you know, piercing, augmentation, weakness enemies. I feel like the fact that it does 120 fucking damage kind of mitigates all of that. Like, I'm pretty sure you would do more damage to that monster if you just got this fucking sucker out. <coughs> <coughs> Oh, I can teleport, can't I? Duh. Let's see, let's go get some, uh... I gotta get my... The rent that I don't even fucking need anymore. <clears throat> God damn it, can you get the fuck out of my... What is that wasp doing? Straight up just fucking blocking me. I've never had that happen before. The Dollmaster Mace is good if you're like a mage, I guess. But it's like, I think it only has one man augmentation, right? Does it have one or two? I know it has at least one, but it's like by the time you can get the Dollmaster Mace, it's like you can pretty much almost get like your own mana augmentations and make your own mana weapon. At the very least, by the time you can get the Dollmaster Mace, which is at least after you do the arena, because that's the first place you can actually get the Bright Plate Mail. Um, by that point, you can already get a mana augmentation from the, uh, the Demon Door that you fight Thunder in. So it's like, yeah, you could pretty much just put a mana augmentation in a fucking Master Weapon at that point. There's a lot of weapons like that in this game that kind of just, like, become obsolete as soon as you get them. Because, like, when the game forces you to get them. The whole time you thought I was playing Anniversary. I don't know, man. I mean, I know it looks technically better a lot of things in this game, but, like... You see any of those leaves? Oh, there's no leaves on these trees. See that grass? <clears throat> I definitely, I prefer most of, like, the visuals in this game to the anniversary version, but it's, like, you can't deny that, like, the, uh, like, the environment definitely looks better in anniversary, like, trees and shit like that look a lot better in anniversary. Like, the trees in this game, it looks like somebody went to, like, a fucking preschool somewhere, and they're like, okay, kids, we need you to do a really important task, we're making trees for a video game, I need you guys to cut leaves out of this fucking, uh, construction paper for me and that that was how they made the leaves oh there's some leaves yeah look at this stupid fucking shit like what are these stupid fucking leaves right now like i fucking can't with these leaves and these aren't even like the worst offenders i think these are like the worst ones or like the actual normal leaves actually those aren't even that bad there's like i think it might be in like the guild forest there's some leaves that look just super fucking atrocious <clears throat> Go all the way to the guild forest for no fucking reason here. I know I said this fucking video was gonna be focused on the recording, not the fucking uh, chat interaction, but here we go. They just kind of look the fucking same already. Oh, here we go. These are the shitty ones, I think. Oh, these are the same fucking leaves. They all just look shitty. They all look so shitty, I can't even tell the difference between them. They're just like a different breed of the same shit. Oh, I probably should have put spoiler alert or spoiler warning or whatever in the fucking title. That would have made some sense like the most people watching that I've ever had and I forget to put the spoiler warning should be kind of obvious if I'm like recording a video you're probably gonna get some spoilers yeah Tr trees look like shit I guess oh these vines too I think that was part of it maybe no these vines don't look that bad actually these vines kind of look better than the fucking trees do somehow remarkable but like look at this stupid shit dude these trees look ridiculous they do it's like these weird, like, 2D, like, fucking flat surfaces. Like, these leaves just, like, fucking disappear if you look at them from the wrong angle. Like, what is going on here? <clears throat> if 
finish collecting this rent. That's what I was supposed to be doing. I wonder if I can sell the Willow's Pick Hammer anywhere. I probably can't, but I feel like I should try. Fuck. Did I already, like, collect two of the bags last time or something? What the fuck happened? Oops. Alright, can I... Kahol Kalade. This one's got the big Buku books. Uh, no it doesn't. What the fuck? I apparently have collected bags at some point recently, because I do not have all of them. We're fucking, I'm not doing this. This is a waste of time. I'm not going to fucking collect one bag. It's such a long walk up the hill for fucking nothing. <clears throat> Alright, next quest. Fuck it. Oh, this fucking dumb thing. This is the, this is the one where you have to protect dumb bitch and... She literally somehow fucking finds a way to die every time. You know, actually, it's been a while since I've done this one on the Lost Chapters. I swear to God, every time I do this quest on Anniversary, some weird fucking shit happens. She gets, like, bumped into the wrong place. And then, like, she stops charging up the stupid fucking portal. So hopefully it's, like, not as shitty in the Lost Chapters. It's been a while. Oh, Briar Rose not harmed. I'm not doing that. Fuck that. That's crazy. Don't even let her get hurt at all. Like, I don't know about that, bro. Fuck that. I'm good. <clears throat> That's what? You didn't finish your word. There you go. That's my mom! Lovely. Lovely. Most, like, fucking generic NPC dialogue ever. Oh, where, where am I going? Where's the best place to go here? Dude, Darkwood always fucking sucks. Like, do you go to Barrow Fields or do you go to Greatwood Colos Gate? You know what I'm saying? I think it's Barrow Fields for sure. I swear to God, it's always Barrow Fields. <laughs> like, can we just get a fucking Darkwood teleport? God damn. Oh, wow. Okay. That's... I literally walked right into that. That was stupid. I think at this point, I could pretty much start buying potions. I kind of forgot about that. I should probably start buying some potions. Then I can actually, like, use them. Cause at this point, I have, like, not enough potions to just, like, actually use them. So I'm just kind of not using them. It'd be nice to start using potions at some point. <laughs> I have 36,000? Yeah, I could probably buy some potions at this point. Oh, perfect. Darkwood Cam. Let's get some potions. This guy? You're sure to find something to suit you. Is it? Yes. Wow. Fuck me, right? Okay. Gee. Thanks. I almost have 30 of them now. Oh, at least I have almost 40 of these. <laughs> <clears throat> I have such a dangerously low amount of potions. Good thing I don't like seem to need them. So the guild thought I needed some help, eh? <clears throat> what do they think? That I'm some sort of damsel in distress? Well, you might as well make yourself useful now. I mean, yeah, actually. I've been studying an ancient shrine we found buried in the swamp. But the whole thing. Yeah, I'm just sort of damsel in distress. It's weird because I have to, like, protect you, though. So it's kind of weird how that one works out, isn't it? It's like literally the whole point of this quest is that, like, you can't protect yourself. <clears throat> I'm not gonna lie, it kind of sucks fighting these guys without, like, some real spells. 
I don't know why I haven't like gotten any decent spells yet, but I kind of just haven't. Like something would be good here, like a fucking like in flame or something. <clears throat> I have all like fucking berserk or some shit. Wait, has she even gotten hit yet? She has kind of a lot of health still. I swear to god, if she doesn't get hit this whole fucking time, I'm actually gonna get pissed. The minions must have been using the shrine to summon this whatever the hell it is. I know a way of seeing the Oh god. You just like starts right. Yep, see I would have lost that one instantly. Can't be losing those five hundred gold pieces to a fucking uh, quest boss now. See, does that fuck up her uh, thing like it does in Anniversary? Ooh, it kind of looks like it. I'm not going to lie. It straight up looks like it fucked her shit up. No, bro. Serious? I don't even have, like, Force Push either. I might be fucked. I have to, like, let them hit her again or something. <coughs> hmm. This is, a uh, pretty buggered. I feel like you, like, need fucking force push for this quest, just so you can move her. <clears throat> Perfect. Now don't hit her anymore, because that might have fixed it. Jesus fucking Christ. Oh wait, she moved. Did she move to a good spot? Yes, she did. Good job. Now don't, don't touch her, don't touch her, don't t Fuck no, you bitch. We had it. I hope it still works, bro. I really do. Kind of feel like it doesn't. Dude, she literally had it and you fucking ruined it again. I'm pissed. Come on, man. It's not cool. Dude, I'm gonna fucking die out here, bro. I really am. This is stupid. <laughs> oh my god, bro. We get Dude, I'm fucking like legitimately trying. That's the sad part. Okay, we'll try uh one of these guys. Shit, the fucking mages can still hit me. I forgot about that. Oh shit, it was probably a. Uh... Is she getting hit right now? I think she is. No, I don't want to show my trophy to anybody. Not. Right. She's also not fucking doing anything either. How wonderful this game. Wait, wait, wait. Is she going? Yes, yes, yes. No, 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 no. You fuck off. You fuck off. You stay the fuck away. You stay the fuck away. No, no, fuck. God damn it, this stupid fucking game. Nope, not that button. Not that button either. This is super spaghetti, guys. Like, what am I, an Italian restaurant? What the fuck? Jesus Christ. Okay, she's doing it. She's doing it. We might be good for a second. <clears throat> for as long as this stupid shit can last, at least, we're good. Come on, come on. Yes. Yes. Yeah, come around the other side, please. It's a lot more helpful. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Little last baby toe. There we go. That sucked a lot of dick. Yeah, I was... That was sweaty. I really was. That was a lot of experience, though. One title shot. Oh. What the fuck? Where even is the gold quest? At like the graveyard or some shit? Boo! What the fuck did I do? I'm not gonna kill you. Calm down, dude. You're sure to find something to suit you. There we go. Those are some potions. 
Uh, pretty much don't need the uh, resurrection file money at this point, but I should probably sell at least a couple of these so I can continue to pick them up. I have an Ages of Will potion, what the fuck? Oh, wait a minute, wait a minute. Can I sell a stupid Willow's pick hammer? You're sure to find something to suit you. No. The answer is no. It's only worth 23,000. Yeah, it sucks. That's why. We got. No. Why, you little scrote? Oh. Fuck you. What was I doing? Oh, I need to spend some experience. That's that was the thing. Hmm. Oh, do we spend it all on strength? Yeah, fuck it. <clears throat> uh, ooh, okay. There goes all that. I guess we're not buying another spell. Should probably get the fuck out of here. Where do we go though? Is it the is it really the uh fucking graveyard? God damn it, where is the graveyard? Firestone, there we go. Yeah. <clears throat> uh oh. What happened? Uh, you fucking what, mate? Since when does that happen? Game straight up fucking crashed. <coughs> we are sorry, but we have detected that the game did not exit correctly. I'm not going to play Fable in safe mode, you fucking weirdo. I gotta launch Fable in safe mode, just in case. Like, what? Why? Why would anybody fucking do that? It makes no sense. I have yet to find a situation that, like, safe mode makes sense for. Except for, like, operating system safe mode. That's the only time safe mode actually seems to make sense. Auto save, I guess? Hopefully the auto save... Ooh, no. Bro, 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 bro. Don't make me do that again, dog. You gotta be kidding me. Bro. See, if there's one thing that fucking anniversary got right, it's the fucking auto saves. Because are you fucking kidding me? Actually fucking kidding me right now? I have to do that again? Please, for the love of God, why? Why is life like this? I don't wanna! <clears throat> oh, so the guild thought I needed some help, did yeah, F in chat, everybody. This sucks. <laughs> We're gonna have to get sweaty again. I just dried off all that sweat. God damn it. Man, it's always like a super shitty fucking quest too. It's never like, it's never like something simple. It's always like, I gotta do that again? Fuck, like, god damn it. Did, did one spawn in? Is that what just happened? It's not supposed to happen yet. You know what? I wonder... This might be meta. <clears throat> oh, well, not if you hold it. Then, dummy. Whatever the hell it is. God fucking damn it. God damn it. we, uh, do it better? Okay, yeah, no, we're not using that. That's stupid. Bad idea. Alright, can you fuck off? Are we still good? We're gonna need you to get hit again. I think I might need her to get hit again. You literally, that's all you ever get. You get like a little fraction of a fraction of a little segment there, and then it's over! 
And of course she got hit twice, so she probably fixed her position and then got hit again and ruined her. No, 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 it's going, it's going. Leave her alone, leave her alone. Wait, 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 wait. There we go, that was the trick. Hey, no, 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 hold up. Wait, 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 No, you stay. Not so sweaty anymore, are we? And then we got this part. This is the sketchy part. We gotta... Come on. Nope. There we go. Cool. We did it. Uh-oh. Until somebody... Shit, there is somebody behind me in there. Did you fuck it up? You fucked it up. You fucking bitch. Okay, now you stop. And then, uh... Get my spaghetti together. <clears throat> and I don't think it's moving again. God fucking damn it. Alright, you hit her again. No, hit her. Not me. Her. 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 You gotta hit her. Come on. There we go. There we go. Okay, now stop. And then... Leave her alone. Oh, it's going. It's going. And... Yes. Wait, 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 wait. No, 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 no. There we go. No, 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 no. Oh, fucking bitch. Dude, we were so close, too. Wait. She's moving, though. Uh, You're going to do your job, though, right? Is she doing it yet? Okay, she is. Come on. Why is this guy just, like, straight up posted? What was that about? <clears throat> the incantation worked. The portal's closed. Let's How many frames have I dropped, by the way? That was some impressive minion slaying. Does it uh, give me any information on that yet? According to OBS, I have not dropped any frames, but I have I have a hard time believing that. the minions aren't like that bad if you actually have a couple like decent spells if you're just trying to like raw dog them with fucking melee it's pretty shitty i'm not gonna lie but uh i don't know you get some like inflame or like some fucking like multi-strike and berserk like they're like fucking straight up one hitters i'm gonna save because fucking who knows apparently god damn can't get shit around here <clears throat> oh, well, at least this guy's alive still. Hopefully he doesn't call me a scrote again. I might have to fucking off him. You're sure to find something to suit you? <sighs> Gotta redo all the things. Gotta redo it all. What is this? Silver? No, we're keeping that. Wait, we don't even really fucking need that at this point, but whatever. Why, you little scrope? Bitch, you just, all you had to do was not say it. Ah, uh, bro! Come on, man! Fucking me up here, dog. Okay, well, what do we got? You know, I should probably at least get fucking multi-strike. Boy, you little scrote. I am almost sure that it's scrote as in scrotum, but... Maybe it could be S C R O A T. Is scrote a thing, or is it just short for scrotum? Because I always just assumed it was short for scrotum. He's just like straight up calling me a scrotum. <laughs> Which, like, honestly, what a fucking thing to like 
to say to someone, fucking scrotum. Get out of here, you little scrotum. <laughs> like, what the fuck? <laughs> Who says that? Go around and start calling people scrotum. That's gonna be my new uh, Twitter word. My, yeah, okay, sure thing, you little scrotum. Speaking of naked marathon, I kind of don't want to be naked if I don't have to be, honestly. And I don't have to be for this one. <clears throat> I like my plate mail. Damn, I beefed up real quick. Call inmates at work? Oh my I swear to God, if that fixes it. Oh, we were doing so good, too. Uh-oh. Well, the chat's back, so I wonder if the uh, stream is back, too. Excellent connection. Still live. I think we're good. I had to, uh... I was, I was plugged into my stupid, like, Ethernet, Wi-Fi, extender bullshit scenario. And I just unplugged that, and now we're running off of actual Wi-Fi. In case you're wondering what happened. It's weird, too, because it's like, the internet will literally still be fucking working, and it'll just be, like, giving me problems. It's like, oh, connection issue. Like, that's weird, because I'm still literally connected to the internet, but okay. Yeah, you can get some of the bright plate. There might be, like, a way to get all of it. I don't know how necessarily but you i know you can get like three out of four pieces there's like one piece that for some reason you just can't get but uh, you get them from like the wandering traders if i remember correctly i don't see why it wouldn't work in a fully open world setting it would be just like the same thing but open world it's less uh <clears throat> Less loading screens, I guess. And the only thing is they'd have to find a way to, like, kind of, like, pad the game out without it, like, feeling padded out. I feel like pretty much every open world game has the same problem where it's, like, like, you have to make content in an open world. Otherwise, it's just an empty open world. But, like... When you make that much content for a game, it all ends up, like, being pretty fucking arbitrary content. Right, I gotta actually talk to him, don't I? Oh, hello. Uh, it's like fucking, like, cyberpunk. It's like every single fucking mission or quest or whatever is, like, the same fucking thing. So it's like, you're just kind of, like, going around this open world doing the same thing fucking over and over and over again, but in, like, a different fucking place. <clears throat> Whereas, like, even if it's procedurally generated, it's, like, the same problem, except for it's, like, in a procedurally generated place instead of a non-procedurally generated place. Or it's, like, the quest is procedurally generated, but it's, like, still, like, the same fucking, like, oh, you gotta fetch this thing in this place and then bring it back to me. Like, oh, shit. No shit. My armor, my helmet, my sword, like, if they could find a way to create, like actually good organic content like fable open world would be pretty cool like if, if everything was like unique quest wise like all the quests in this game are like they have like really good banger like unique quests and shit like just all over the fucking world that'd be awesome but like i i don't know if it's possible to have that much creativity i just don't <clears throat> yeah, that's the other thing too is that like a lot of the quests are like pretty dependent on like the areas in this game so it's like you have to like find a way to like kind of lock people in the quest region more or less depending on the quest
Or maybe not. Maybe there'd be a way to make it happen, but... Like, could you imagine if, like... You're in the middle of, like, fighting fucking Twin Blade and you just, like, kind of walk away? <laughs> like, <laughs> what? I was so fucking confused the first time I went back to the Lost Chapters and, like, did the first fishing thing. And I'm like, where's my little fishing icon? I can't see it. It's, like, way up in the top right corner, hidden. Wow, I need to have three or four. Okay. Yeah, I'm pretty sure. I don't see why the newest Fable wouldn't be open world. Like, the 2 and 3 were, like, pretty goddamn near open world. Like, they weren't quite, but they were, like, pretty close to open world, honestly. So, yeah, I guess saying close to open world is pretty uh, accurate there. It's either going to be open world or close to it. Like, if they could somehow capture the magic of Fable 1... But, like, have it be open, like, even just as much as, like, Fable 2 or 3 open world. Like, it'd be super great. But, like, the thing is, is, like, the problem that I was describing, like, you, they literally had for Fable 2 and 3, I feel like. It was, like, they had, there wasn't even an open world. They had, like, these really big fucking places that, like, most of the content was sort of, like, centered around, like, you know, maybe the middle of the town or whatever that was in that area. And then the rest of it's just kind of like a bunch of shit that you have to walk through and like just kind of waste your fucking time, really. Like, I don't know. It, it could be cool if they found a way to make it cool, but it's it's one of those things that I feel like is actually kind of hard to make cool. I mean, like, it's... it's I mean, maybe she wasn't, like, that ugly, but there are definitely some, like, specific angles and shots from that, uh, trailer where it's like, holy fucking shit, what even is this face? Like, like a mother said I love you to that face? Like, oh my god. Like, I do, I do agree that, like, it's not, she's not, like, that bad, but there are, like, you, you see her at, like, a couple angles and those, like, close-up shots and it's like, holy fuck, dude, like, they really, that's what they, that's what they went for, huh? Okay. Whatever you say. Oh my god. Come on. I just want to hit him with the multi-strike. That's all I wanted. Oh my god. <clears throat> From what I understand, though, apparently that's, like, a side quest. It's not, like, a main, like you know, quest or whatever with the fucking vegetable giant dude, so. As long as that guy is, like, not the fucking main fucking antagonist of the goddamn game, I'm pretty much happy, because that, that was looking pretty bad there for a second. <clears throat> it's called fucking Laura Croft Handsome? Oh, God. I mean, those pixels could have been anything, let's be honest. PlayStation 1 era was pretty rough. Somehow, though, like, back during the PlayStation 1 era, that was, like, she was fucking hot. Like, oh, damn, look at this fucking PlayStation, babe. Like, literally, there's, like, fucking 12 pixels on the screen. Like, dude, look at those titties. They're so amazing and pointy. It's like the fucking, uh, the fairies, those, like, fountain fairies from, uh, was it Ocarina of Time or whatever. <laughs> Ridiculous.
All those fucking, like, PlayStation 1 and Nintendo 64 waifus were super fucking questionable in hindsight. I don't know, I feel like the Fountain Fairies are like the original like vampire from the that new Resident Evil game or whatever. You received a new quest card. New quest card. Watch, it's not even a quest card. He just wants me to walk through that fucking door. It's the worst check part. Oh, well, he did tell me to check the guild, so he better be fucking right. Oh, okay, cool. Well, uh, we don't have time for that one anyway, so this is uh, gonna be the end of the video and the end of the stream probably here. So I'm gonna like attempt to do some sort of weird outro or something, I don't know. Um, actually, no, we gotta do some experience first if I got it. Ooh, we actually might have something. Wait, really? Okay, I'll do that. I didn't expect to be able to afford that. That's cool. <clears throat> well, all right. I think we definitely made some good progress here. We did several side quests and a main quest. And uh, actually, we had to do that quest twice because, uh, yeah, that sucked. And yeah, we did a lot of shit in this video, actually. It's kind of crazy. But yeah, we will save uh, this quest and I guess uh, possibly the prison quest for the next video. So that's it. And I gotta save. Don't want to forget that. This shit I fucking hate. You gotta, like, watch this shit. See how this button says fucking quit, but then, it, like, you don't even quit. You go back to the fucking main menu. Like, I gotta load a thing to quit. Like, are you shitting me right now? Like, why do games do this? It's like, just let me leave your game, bro. Like, stop, like, begging me to stay. I hate this shit so much. Like, please! Are you sure you just want to start a new profile, maybe? Huh? You can make a new character? You sure you want to quit? Alright. <laughs> Peace out, guys. That's it for this one.